the other thing I want to uh, I want to say, and it's unfortunate because I didn't bring it. This is another myth. I just I just like to debunk right away, and I was going to bring a chain and give you guys a visual. What's the what's the old adage about the chain, right? Who knows what I'm getting at here? Chain's always strong as its weakest link, right? It's BS, and I want to tell you why. Because well, you guys are you guys aren't individual soldiers. We're not marching you into a situation one by one. You guys are a unit. Okay, if you have a weak link in that chain, you can accentuate its strength. You can ball that chain up. You can create a unit. Okay, and the way you're going to do this is by using your leadership skills. Okay, to to frankly address your own weaknesses. Okay, a strong leader is not afraid of uh, is not afraid of their weaknesses because they are strong. They know what their capabilities are, and the way that they get around those strengths is they bring on good people. They're not afraid to hire people that are smarter than them in the business world. They're not afraid. To, to bring in somebody um, on, you know, with respect to the fraternity that is going to um, essentially accentuate their strengths, that they can work as a team, okay? The President of the United States isn't a one-man job. Barack Obama has a cabinet, okay? And he's got a lot of intelligent people that are better versed in areas that he's not, okay? And this is, this is what we're going to talk about in terms of the idea of a skill set and how we're going to align ourselves with people of different skill sets to strengthen the overall unit, which is our individual chapters. Um, an, an analogy to that is, I don't know, who's a, who's a senior right now? Anybody graduating or looking for a graduate? Okay, so, um, and, and not, not just for you guys, but everybody else, you guys are probably already starting to look at different companies and corporate structures and things like that. Something that's really interesting is, you guys will see that a leader of a company, a CEO, right, can have all kinds of different backgrounds. My background is in sales, right? All about revenue, right? You gotta bring in the money, you gotta bring in the lifeblood for the business, right? Kind of like recruitment is the lifeblood for the we're not, we're not a sales organization, but bringing in those new guys is what creates that energy, right? So, so me, just being a sales guy, I always thought, hey, you know what, a CEO's got to be a sales guy. But there's CEOs with different backgrounds. You have CEOs that have backgrounds in technology that have been CTOs of their company, or CEOs with background in marketing that really know how to sell the hell of a product or how to give the people what they want. Or you'll have um, a CEO that's really good at finance, right? So there's all kinds of different skill sets. The reason why all these guys are successful is because they create a group of people around them that accentuates their strengths. You guys with me on this?